Hey everybody, it's Corey with Utah Dream Properties and Keller Williams. Today we're gonna to talk to you about how much cash does it take to get into a house. Let's get to work. Let's get to work. All right, so there's a few different types of loans, right? So first off, there's a VA loan. We won't really talk about that one. We already did a video on it, but that's zero down. Secondly, there's a conventional loan. So conventional loans, you can do, most products are 20% down. There are some, if you qualify, up to 5% down. So what that means is you would take your price of 500,000 and you would take 20% of that, and then you would have to have that in hand in order to finish the loan at the end. Then there's a FHA loan. FHA has products, you can go from 3.5% down all the way to whatever you want, really. And on any of these, you can put down any amount you want. But basically you would take the price you're gonna pay for the property and the percentage that you qualify for, whether it's conventional or FHA, and you would multiply that by it and that would tell you how much you have to have to put down on a loan. Let's also talk about something that everybody has to do, no matter what kind of loan you have or how much money you put down or even if you pay cash. Uh, we recommend you get a home inspection. Home inspections are great because it's like an owner's manual for your house. It's a nice from top to bottom inspection. Basically those cost anywhere from oh, about 300, 350 on upwards to, you know, whatever kind of inspections you want to have. You know, we've had them cost up to about 800, depending on how many inspections you want. So somewhere between three and 800, let's say. Um, and then also, of course, we have to have an appraisal done if we're going to get a loan. The bank needs to tell us how much they're willing to loan on the property. That's what an appraisal is for. An appraisal costs anywhere from uh, about 500 on up, depending on square footage and that kind of thing. And also, I'm, I'm not a lender, so I just want to make sure that we would, re of course, refer you to a lender so you got exactly what was going to be needing to happen for your individual loans. Hopefully, that clears up some things on how much cash you have to have in order to get into a home. Okay, also, let me add on that there's other ways that we can make your offer stronger. So people are talking about gap and paying over and all those things. Those are not a requirement of the loan, which we just talked about, but those are things that can make your offer stronger. So a gap means if you offered 550 on a house and the appraisal came back at 500, there's a $50,000 gap there. How much of that would you be willing to pay in cash, right? So that would also be more cash that we would have to have in order to get you into that property. That's just one example. Uh, so there are some other peripheral things that could come into making your offer stronger. And we would talk about that individually with everybody as we go along. All right, everybody, all of our information is down below. Uh, Bree's gonna link some blogs for you to look at also. Great information there for you. Uh, please like and subscribe to this. We love it when you do that. Uh, it helps us out and it makes Bree feel good. Also, contact us any way you want to. We're here, you know, telephone, text, email, whatever you need. We're here to help you. Have a great day.